What's going on guys and welcome back to another video. So we actually have some good news for about 42 million Americans. And this is very welcome news because over the past really week, we've been seeing a lot of bad news, just horrible reports. Uh, we see currencies and these are all over the, the globe, not just here in the United States, but currencies are actually struggling. Economies are just being decimated. We are seeing, you know, crypto sell off. We're seeing stocks sell off, real estates crashing, inflation still going up, a lot of problems. But here's what I can tell you today. So if you're tired of paying excess amounts of money for food, good news starting tomorrow. According to the United States Department of Agriculture, more than 42 million Americans are about to get a cost of living adjustment of 12.5% starting tomorrow if you do collect SNAP benefits. Now, this increase for SNAP benefits, it starts tomorrow on October 1st, 2022. Now, you're probably wondering, well, why are they starting in October for on October 1st, 2022? Well, this is when the fiscal year starts. The fiscal year 2022 ends right now, pretty much today, in September. September 30th, 2022 is the end of the fiscal year. The new year starts on October 1st. So that's fiscal year 2023. That is why they started in October. So whenever you get your SNAP benefits in October, you're gonna see a 12.5% cost of living adjustment. This is really welcome news to a lot of a lot of people, 42 million Americans. Now I want to explain what these changes are going to look like because if uh, and if you live within the you know 48 uh, you know states uh, or District of Columbia, you know Canada uh, obviously doesn't get anything, but uh, you know up there in Alaska, right? You are going to see some some benefits, some some differences. Here's what I can tell you: the maximum monthly food allotment. For SNAP recipients, this is going to increase from $250 all the way to $281. We know for couples, the maximum allotment per month will increase from $459 to $516. For a four-person household, the maximum allotment per month will go from $835 up to $939. It's over a $100 increase there. We know the minimum allotment is going from $20 to $23. And just to give you an idea, uh, according to the USDA, they say maximum allotments for a family of four are actually gonna increase uh, to a range of uh, $1,172 to $1,819 in Alaska. It will go to $1,794 in Hawaii to $1,385 in Guam and $1,208 in the US Virgin Islands. Those are just some of the changes. Now, let's talk about this. Because one of the questions I've been getting a lot from people lately is, why are we seeing certain products are in short supply and not others? And this is where the shortages are coming in. And I told you this before, I just wanna be very clear on this. What we are seeing is there's not shortages of all food. You know, yeah, wheat is in short supply. It's a global food shortage. Here's the thing that you need to understand. What companies are doing, if there is, let's say, and I use bread as my example every single time, but let's say, uh, you know, company ABC is selling a loaf of bread for $1.99. But company ABC also sells a loaf of bread for $4.99, that one is more profitable. So guess what they do? They make more of the, the $4.99 loaf of bread as opposed to the $1.99 loaf of bread. They still have the same amount of wheat that they're using, but they're distributing and, and uh, divvying it up differently. Instead of 50%, 50%, they'd go more probably, I'm just throwing these numbers out there, let's say 80%, 20%. That's why, according to multiple companies, we are seeing food shortages because they are trying to get out the most profitable products, not just the least expensive. 
So in most cases, what's happening is we're seeing a shortage of the less expensive products. But again, it's not always the less expensive, it's the least profitable products, all right? Another question I get uh, quite a bit is, is, there's, is there gonna be another increase in 2023 for, for food stamps? Well, here's what you need to understand. The fiscal year 2023 starts tomorrow on October 1st, 2022. So no, on January 1st, 2023, there is not gonna be another increase in benefits. Here's the other good news. Many states are still sending out that $95 supplemental allotment. Okay, I don't know how much longer this is gonna go on. I promise I will do an update on food stamps and uh, pandemic EBT. I will do that most likely this weekend, um, just to give you an update, it'll be start of the week or start of the month, uh, and just give you an update as to what's happening there because some people are worried that their $95 allotment is gonna go away. And well, that's something you should be worried about because food prices are keep still going up but if your benefits go down by $95 or more, well, that's really gonna hurt. Um, let's see, another question that somebody asked is, are the, uh, the income limits, have they been lifted? And the answer is no. As of right now, what we know is that if you make, and again, I could be, uh, I could be wrong here, but the number is fairly close. If you make 130%, of the, the median income, then you will qualify based on your family size, okay? So you will qualify. If you make 200% uh, you know, of the median income, you are not going to qualify for SNAP benefits, all right? Just keep that in mind, because I know a lot of people are asking. And no, the, the, the income limits haven't been changed. That has been part of the discussions, is can we increase the limits but the problem with that is by increasing the limits, you can get more people that will go and apply. And there's just not that many people currently working to go and accept all these applications or new applications, potentially new applications, excuse me. Now, are we gonna see more benefits? And I just wanna be very clear on this because again, I get a lot of questions. And, and over the past two years, I've done so many videos on additional stimulus checks, additional talks, of stimulus or guaranteed uh, income programs, even pilot programs, uh, you know, tax credits, things like that. And a lot of people ask on older videos. Uh, these are videos I've done a year or two years ago, and they're still asking, hey, when's that next stimulus check coming? And I wanna be very clear on this, it is not. There is no way, whether you are a Republican, a Democrat, it doesn't matter what your affiliation is, there's no way a lawmaker is gonna vote for another stimulus check right now that we have inflation at 8.3%, which is likely gonna go even up go up even higher next month or actually in like two weeks, um, 13 days actually. Uh, we are not gonna see that. Right now that we have a national uh, a crisis with our, with our debt, right? That's not gonna happen. Uh, lawmakers are never gonna vote for something right before a midterm election, especially when it could push us even deeper into a potential recession or what some are calling a depression. So there's no stimulus check coming. If you hear anybody saying, hey, there's a stimulus check coming, it's not from the federal level, it's from a state level. For instance, California, they're issuing a gas rebate that's coming out starting October 1st, so starting tomorrow, people will start receiving, well, over the next few months, people will start receiving these checks up to $1,050 down the state of California. So again, there is money going out. It's just not on the federal level. So that's what we know at this time. As always, if you have any questions whatsoever, please ask your questions down in the comment section below. And as always, as I know more, I promise, I'll come back on and share all latest news and updates. Again, thank you guys for watching. Consider subscribing and I'll see you guys on the next 